Today, I'm going to be going over the best settings for Modern Warfare 2, starting off here with your controller settings. Now, real quick with controller settings, a lot has changed since Modern Warfare 2019 and what we're used to. The most important movement or the two most important movements in Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone 1 were jumping and sliding. Now, what we're really seeing the two most important movements, in my opinion, are going to be jumping and meleeing. Here's why. Melee actually resets your attack sprint. It's a really easy way to do it. Sliding, there's no slide canceling. You can slide around corners of course but with that in mind when it comes to melee and jumping being our most important buttons if you have paddles you can of course make sure your paddles are mapped that way or you can use your right stick to melee so default is an option same thing with claw you can of course if you really want to that's pretty much the only option for you know your paddle controllers and of course your claw players but if you do have a normal controller bumper jumper flipped right here makes your melee right stick and your left trigger jump so we're taking off tactical because we don't need that slide button anymore same thing with paddles and claw players we don't need the slide button nearly as much melee is going to be the most important and jumping is going to be the most important which we'll continue to talk about so for me personally i'm running bumper jumper flipped right here like i said flipped this is totally up to you i like shooting with my bumpers just because of that input and the fact that it's much quicker than actually pulling that trigger down the whole way stick layout preset that's going to be default controller vibration i turn this off when it comes to horizontal stick sensitivity biggest thing for my console players because of fov because you have fov in modern warfare 2 right here you can actually bring this down a little bit so overall we want to have i have mine at a 6 6.75 i'm a low sense player you can of course go anywhere you want to and what you feel most comfortable i would match it to your 2019 settings your modern warfare 2019 and your war zone settings see how that feels but you can definitely adjust as necessary i actually bring my ads sensitivity multiplier down just a little bit in this game i don't have sensitivity multiplier here aim down sight behavior is going to be hold now automatic tax sprint like i said slide canceling is no longer a thing when we talk about slide canceling that did two things for us it allowed us to reset our tax sprint and it allowed us to slide cancel around corners getting our crosshairs out but when we talk about automatic tax sprint now there are a few things that we can do meleeing is the easiest and the most popular why whying and then jumping i've seen and I've kind of used it. You're going to see this in the gameplay. Helps me reset my tax sprint. Overall, I think automatic tax sprint is going to be crucial in Warzone 2. And getting, you know, basically our tax sprint back. Allowing us to play a little bit quicker. I'm still running automatic tax sprint here. Equipment behavior. By the way, real quick. The only thing you need to know here. Jump peak corners all the time. I talk about this a lot in the gameplay that I'm rolling. It's kind of a live commentary. Where I'm talking about a lot of things that you need to be aware of. So, you know, I'm talking a lot about how to use movement to our advantage still it's not a movement game but we can still use it equipment behavior hold weapon mount activation is going to be ads and melee interact reload behavior tap to interact apply all that's going to be more warzone 2 based advanced right here target aim assist you can run two aim assist options make sure this is on by the way i managed to stream for three hours without this on it was not a fun experience make sure you have your aim assist on you can run default or black ops default is basically your aim assist from modern warfare games so similar to modern warfare 19 and um and warzone black ops here is going to be similar to your black ops games i prefer black ops feel like it's a little bit better but play around with both see which one you like better like i said for me i'm running black ops aim response curve type is going to be dynamic ads sensitivity multiplier i don't have that custom sensitivity presume is going to be off right here ads sensitivity transition timing uh this is instant meaning as soon as i start uh to ads it slows down to that ads sensitivity multiplier which is right here you know gradual is it it's going to slowly do it and after zoom is once you're fully zoomed in so i have mine on instant right here input dead zone I have my left stick and right stick minimum at 0 0.05. As always, guys, your left stick minimum or your left stick should be pretty low. You know, 0 0.05. Your right stick is as low as you can get it without having stick drift. Stick drift is when your crosshairs move without you touching the right stick. We don't want that to happen. So make sure it is, you know, basically as low as possible. Because as soon as you move that to aim, you want it to register. Left stick max is going to be 0.7. This is just because of that automatic tax sprint again allowing us to reset that automatic tax sprint left trigger right trigger i don't have anything there uh what auto move forward off tactical sprint behavior is double tap but we have automatic tax sprint on so as soon as we push that left stick forward we're good ground and mantle on partial off standard movement not i didn't really change any of this besides parachute auto deploy once again 
you do have this in invasion as well as warzone 2 parachute auto deploy off combat behavior off off medium here on i don't know what i don't really use all this stuff so you can just kind of go through it and see make sure it matches now let's go ahead and jump into audio settings i'm gonna finish with my graphic settings this way if you don't have a pc you can just go ahead and skip forward to the gameplay but audio right here i've got my headphones i've got master volume at 60 dialogue volume at 60 music volume all the way down i don't need the music to actually be in game or in the you know the main menu or anything effects volume is at 100 hit mark at, at 100 default system device that should just be your headset right there i tried mono audio which is super interesting audio is split between left and right audio channels to provide directional sound i tried turning it on didn't really notice that big of a difference when it comes to footsteps so i think audio in this game is actually very good for the most part if there's a lot of explosions and stuff happening around you stuff gets muffled of course but for the most part i actually think the audio here is pretty good I don't think there's anything really else in here that we need to really yeah i don't think there's anything that we need to talk about in here besides hit marker sound effects modern warfare classic interface right here menu text i don't know color customization i just have on default i don't have any color filters or anything like that on for right now and oh this is kind of an important one guys make sure you have this i have mine at 50 50 i don't want my mini map all the way in big thing with the mini map the mini map is useless pretty much i am going to talk about in that i'm going to talk about that in the gameplay again you know when we when i roll that during the game as i'm playing i'm talking about how the mini map is pretty much useless so we do need it to be somewhat visible but for the most part you know it's not that crucial so i might at 50 50 mini map shape square as we always my my camera's blocking it unfortunately but we just get more with the square shape rotation on crosshairs on hit marker visuals on damage based hit markers on player names i might not abbreviate it so that it takes out the clan tag i don't need to see people's clan tag and people get crazy so i just have my player names on abbreviated anything else telemetry that's for pc I, uh parallax effects i don't think anything else here is super important important um if you're a console player go in and skip forward to the gameplay where i talk about a lot of things you need to be aware of with modern warfare 2 and two in uh including movement i'm gonna quickly run through my pc graphic settings right here biggest thing display adapter i have my 3070 in there dynamic resolution is going to be off by the way i got all of these there's two twitter accounts that you want to follow kerneal and paradox i will link both of those down in the comments below that's where i get all my graphic settings from i kind of play around with both what they say and then figure out which one works best for me so kerneal paradox are both great options in terms of figuring out which uh settings you want to run aspect ratio v-sync off i'm just gonna run through these custom frame limit is of course whoa that i mean i don't think i'm gonna peak at 300 but i don't want that to be limited at all we got shaders display gamma 2.2 brightness is at 50 for me constrain focus mode off these are the big ones right here quality okay 100 fidelity fx cas at level 90 here smaa 2tx for that low we got video memory scale at 90 texture resolution i'm just gonna keep these on screen here we got texture resolution low texture filter normal i'm gonna let i'm just i'm not gonna read through all these you guys are probably gonna pause the video at this point so i'm just gonna leave that out for another second here or two we got all the way down to terrain memory then if we go ahead and do this way now we see on-demand texture streaming off streaming quality normal all this stuff we got low off a lot of it is just saving that vram as well as well as kind of maximizing that gpu as much as possible now as we keep pushing down here we're going to go ahead and wrap this up that's the bottom of that one and then we'll quickly switch to view here make sure weapon motion blur off those are two big ones and depth of field off so that is that film grain is going to be zero let's quickly go through here oh i didn't talk about this for my console players i'll make a note of it in the gameplay field of view for me is at 105 affected you definitely want affected independent basically means you zoom into console fov so we don't want that i have my weapon field of view default na not narrow not wide it's just you know i don't want it too close in i don't want it too far out i mine it default and first person camera movement is going to be least so that's important for console players so i'm actually going to start this video here for them in terms of the gameplay but go ahead and let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay here where i'm talking a little bit more about what you need to be aware of when it comes to movement as well as some different mechanics okay so while we're playing today there are just a few kind of a few things that i want to talk about obviously today was a settings video but you know the biggest thing is look there's no can't there's no slide cancel you can't actually cancel your slide so everything is going to be a jump around corner that's why jumping is the most important you can reset your tag sprint by meleeing which i don't love that as a way to do it um so everything is going to be jumping it's going to be constantly i'm dead yeah good sh sh shots right there all three guys over to the right so everything's jumping you're going to be jumping while shooting jump peeking corners 
jumpy corner. A lot of people there. Let's go in. Another one there. Another one here. We gotta be careful here. I need to reload. I need to reload so bad. So, no slide canceling. Melee does, but I don't know if I love that. Now, I have been YYing more. I have a UAV here that I need to pop. Hip fire. I'm scared because I'm stuck in the corner back here. There's people. Okay, let's get out of here if I can. This guy's pushing all the way around here. Mm, that's tough. Aim's the most important thing. So, when we talk about being ready for enemies and anticipating, it's jump, jump peeking corners. Boom, we kill that guy. Let's see if anybody else pushes. One right in this corner right here. One right there. Oh my gosh, we're actually kind of frying right now. And guys, it, no, I saw that guy so late. The other thing that I want to talk about here is is just as we continue is the mini map, right? So we have a UAV up now, so mini map is useful. But it, unless you have a UAV up, it is not useful at all. Um, let's keep pushing here. No, why is he spawning back there? We're so close. We're so close. Let's go push this way. Jump peak corner. One right there. One right there. We're, at, we're in. We're in. We're in. So, guys, it definitely has a different feel to it. Overall, though, I, I actually kind of like it so far. You could definitely do some stuff with movement, especially if I were to switch my gun, which I can do. Wait, this. You can time your slides. No minimap pings, guys. So, if you shoot an unsilenced weapon, you don't pop up on the minimap. Um, so if I were to go to, oh, there's a guy right there. The, this gun right here is not the best when it comes to movement. There's, there's multiple people around here. Let's push up. And it is, jump peek this corner. And it's a jump peek and an ADS. Right there, I slightly missed that jump peek, which is what causes me to die. So that's the biggest thing that I want you to work on is just jump peeking around these corners. Try, he tried to jump peek here. We can nade that way. Yup. Keep pushing. One straight down lane. I can't get to that guy. One down below me. So oh, those people are only popping up on radar because we have a UAV. The other thing I'll tell you is uh, counter UAVs are kind of meta. Anybody else? No, let's keep pushing here. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, let's pop UAV here. That's a SMG. That's an SMG. Oh, this is the other thing you could do is if you do want to slide, not slide, you can dolphin dive. So this is a good this is good for a situation, say like I'm pushing in here and I'm getting shot out in the open and I need to like get behind cover. I can dolphin dive there. So that's how we use that. So but like I said, guys, and continue to say jump peeking corners and jumping while shooting as well as strafing while shooting. I'm gonna do a further movement video here probably in the next few days, but you know, just no slide canceling. We're going to jump peak corners. We're going to be ready for enemies. I wish I could have jumped while shooting there. It just got a little bit higher, but we didn't. And I'm I'm kind of YYing here to... Oh, my gosh. Are you going to challenge? See, like, this is the tough spot here because this angle to jump peak is very difficult. And then that happens. So, like, that's really tough. Is the FFS, FSS Hurricane good? Um, it's okay. I would say it's not my favorite as of right now. I think the Lockman is still the best. That's so tough. I like the Lockman a lot better. But this is multiplayer, right? So we still got to see what happens with Warzone. Oh my gosh, I'm just getting melted there. Let's push in. Let's see if we can hold here. It's it's not a movement game. You can still take advantage of movement, but like that. But it's not a movement game anymore. It's very strategic. It's very positioning based. And that's going to carry over into Warzone 2. Jumping while shooting. One right there. Strafing still increases aim assist. Black Ops aim assist or default aim assist, as I said. No precision, no focusing or whatever the other one is. It's Black Ops or default. Uh, we got UAV up. So counter UAVs are great because you're literally not a rare. The other thing that's going to be OP is ghosts. I mean... Like, that guy's ghosted. See how he's not on radar? So, and there's no way for me to ever know that where he actually is. Oh, my gosh. Line him up, baby. Line him up, baby. No, you can't cancel reload. You can't cancel reload. You can't cancel reload. No, you cannot cancel reload. That sucks. Uh, just something to note there. You, you cannot cancel reload. 
Where is that enemy? Is he up top? Yeah. Push up. Oh, I think we should be okay. Wait, where is this guy? There you are. I knew you were somewhere around here. Jumping while shooting. Yup. We win that. No. Wait, can I cancel? One right here. Oh, he was behind me. Ghosted. Can you cancel reload? Wait, maybe you can. So I don't know why it wasn't canceling there. I'm in a weird spot here. So this next hard point's down below. I'm playing a lot of hard point, playing a lot of domination. Last one. I forget. Why am I forgetting now? Because I haven't played in a while. I've been playing a lot of headquarters and domination. So I know I kind of keep saying this. Biggest thing to work on is just getting used to jumping. You know, it's not the slide cancel anymore. It's not about sliding around corners. You can, you know, like if I were to slide around this corner, you just got to make sure that you have your cross. You got to do it early enough so that your crosshairs are out. Because that's ultimately what we're looking to do is just have our crosshairs out as much as possible. There's also no bunny hopping. So you just kind of sit. You don't bunny hop, which is, which is interesting. An interesting choice they made. But biggest things when it comes to the game, no minimap pings. So don't look at your minimap unless you have a UAV. Of course, we've got... I'm, this recon's just not, that's just not the range for it. Jumping while shooting, jump peeking corners. You can slide around corners, but I wouldn't really recommend it. One right down here. Ah, there's another one. And strafing while shooting. Still get that increased aim assist. Still get that increased aim assist that we like. Aim assist. Ow, that hurt. What are my thoughts? I, I can't even respawn in. That's what I'm thinking. Why can't... Can I get a respawn, please? That makes sense. My thoughts on... On this game. I like it a lot. I think it's a good change. I think it slows the pace down. I think movement's still going to be a factor in this. Especially if... I mean, I can switch to... I'll switch to a different gun after this. Look at the jump peak. Look at the jump peak. It's a jumping meta. It's a jumping meta. How much time do we have? Ah, good shots. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the lockman real quick. So when I when I go here, right, like I can I can move pretty quick here, right? And you see how the YY will help. Now this is a close range option. I'm dead. Guys sitting in the truck. Favorite gun so far? Uh, I really like the TAC 56. I really like the lockman. Uh, M4 was the first one I leveled up, which is pretty good. Where is this guy? I don't know what's going on. Let's see if we can... Mm, I just can't... That... Okay. That scenario right there is what I'm worried about with Warzone. Like, I cannot move fast enough to actually get to cover. Hostile UAV. We'll call our own. Pretty sure, like, everybody has ghosts at this point. I don't know if can we climb stuff. Okay, so we Enemy can climb that. Jumping meta. It's a jumping meta. Uh, we're getting absolutely smoked this game. I don't know where I... Oh, we can defend this. Let's defend. Let's defend. Let's see if we can put together something here. Let's lock it in a little bit. We got guy on point. We got, obviously, people dying over here. Good shots there with the lockman. Little strafe. We, we no don't call it a comeback, right? Another one. Another one. Another one. No, not the drill charge. Quest encounter. We need UAV up. Wait, this guy's above us. Oh no. Okay, so let's see what sliding looked like from his perspective. Because he did slide around this corner. It's a hip fire, right? Yeah, that, so it's it's just, it's not as consistent. It's not as consistent. It's not as reliable. And it doesn't exactly do what we need it to do. Jump, 
jumping meta. It's a jumping meta. Nope, another one around the corner here. Nah, good shots. What does he have? Guys, when you die, the Lockman 762. Uh, when you die, one thing I can tell you is pay attention to what gun you die to. You know, we obviously want to figure out what the meta is. Chat, no way. No, there's two in there. We got to win this game. We got to win this. One more. Give me the assist. I'll take the assist. That's fine. Another one outside this way. Oh, my teammate's in a really good spot. No, from backside. They flipped. They flipped. How, when did they flip? Let's throw it. Let's go! I hope you found today's video helpful. As I always say, let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.